Long-term rates have already peaked. We expect that 30-year mortgage rates will end at 2023 at 5.2%. I like that number. I like that rate a lot. For the last couple of weeks, I've been all about the predictions for 2023. So this week, let's talk about the predictions for the mortgage rates for 2023. Last year in 2022, oh my God, oh my God. Nobody expected all of that to go down, right? We went into 22 thinking that, oh, mortgage rates were going to hit a high of maybe 5% by the end of the year. That didn't happen. Now did it. We hit 6% by June, and then we were at 7% by the end of September, early October, and we ended the year at about 6.5% around there. So I'm sharing information. These are predictions from the experts, but as we all know, nobody can predict what's going to happen. doesn't rhyme. All good predictions rhyme. Anything can happen that can be totally unexpected that's going to affect the economy, the job market, all of that stuff. But let's get into this to get an idea of where the experts feel that based on the economy and the job market, like where do they feel the mortgage rates are going to be falling this year? So this is from Forbes Advisor. So they're sharing the mortgage rate forecast for 2023. Rates for home loans are caught in a tug of war between high inflation and the Federal Reserve's actions to restrain inflation, which indirectly pushed rates higher. The Federal Reserve hiked its benchmark interest rate seven times in 2022 by December. Seven times. With inflation still above 7% as of November, the Fed recently signaled plans to continue raising the federal funds rate into 23, though likely at smaller increases. So that's a good sign right there, that they're going to raise it, not like, you know, by half a point, a full point, it's, they're going to do it in smaller increases. Experts expect the Fed's ongoing monetary policies to continue to put some upward pressure on mortgage rates in the coming months. Mortgage rates are directly impacted by the bond market, which reacts to the Fed's actions. Now, George Ratui, who is Realtor.com's Director of Economic Research, said, looking toward 2023, we can expect financial market volatility to continue until investors have more clarity about the economy's direction. With the Fed committed to monetary tightening until inflation is decidedly moving toward 2%, borrowing costs will remain elevated, keeping housing affordability at the top of the year's list of challenges. I thought we were, I, thought, I was hoping we would get over that challenge, but looks like we're going into that. We're starting this year off with affordability problems, but are you surprised? No, not at all. I'm not. Well, some housing experts say mortgage rates have likely reached their peak and expect rates to fall further before stabilizing. They remain cautious given the past year's extreme fluctuations and economic uncertainty. With inflation still north of 7% and the Fed committed to keep increasing the funds rate over the next few months, the mortgage market is not out of the woods. We still may see rates rebound back above 7% before the end of the year. Now, this is the director of economic research from Realtor.com that's saying this. He's saying they could go back up to 7% before coming back down again. That's his perspective. Let's look at what everybody else is saying. So here we have the Compass U.S. region president, Nada Nawab. Now, Nada Nawab is saying there have been signals that mortgage interest rates may be at or near their peak, given the recent encouraging news about inflation and a corresponding drop in the U.S. Treasury yields that help set mortgage rates. A sustained drop could push mortgage rates into the 5% range late in the second quarter or in the second half of 2023, but that's definitely not guaranteed. Okay, thank you, Nada, for putting that little disclaimer out there because, yeah, nobody knows what's going to happen, but thank you for saying that. The Mortgage Bank Association. Long-term rates have already peaked. We expect that 30-year mortgage rates will end at 2023 at 5.2%. I like that number. I like that rate a lot. I like that a lot. But this is coming from the Mortgage Bankers Association. Are they trying to get people excited? Like, is there like a little ulterior motive there why they're saying that? They, they want to get people excited? Like, oh, they'll be down to 5.2%. You should really think about getting a mortgage and buying a house. I mean, I hope they're right. That would be amazing. I really hope they're right, but you know, we'll see. But I mean, if anybody's going to know best, it would be the Mortgage Bankers Association. I hope. Hey, I just want to stop here and say thank you for watching. And if you really like what you're watching right now, could you do me a favor and give me a thumbs up before you continue on? Oh, uh, and subscribe. Thank you. The National Association of Realtors Senior Economist and Director of Forecasting, Nadia Evangelo. 
Nadia is saying that if inflation continues to slow down, and this is what we expect for 23, mortgage rates may stabilize below 6% in 23. Many buyers want to believe that 3% may come again. However, we don't expect to see that. So Freddie Mac, they're forecasting the average 30-year mortgage rate to start at 6.6% in Q1 in 2023, and they're going to end up at 6.2% in Q4 of 2023. This is really interesting stuff. It's funny, like they're all covering themselves. <laughs> One's saying it could go up to 7% before coming back down, and, and the rest are saying, no, we're going to say it's going to be below 6% or the low sixes. Again, we don't know. But my opinion, because you know I got to give my opinion, you know I have to, I got to put it out there. What I'm seeing, what I what I feel that is if the inflation continues to trend down, absolutely the mortgage rates are going to come, they're going to follow. It's not going to happen quick though. We are going to have some bumps in the road. I think we're going to see some peaks. We'll definitely have some valleys this coming year. But as long as the inflation comes down, you're definitely going to see the rates come back down as well. Where are they going to end up? I don't know. Most people are saying in the mid fives. Let's hope that's the case. But let's continue on here. This article also talks about mortgage rate predictions for the next five years. So if you're not in the market to buy in 23, and you're, but you're looking beyond 24 and 2025, let's see what they have to say. So predicting mortgage rates for the next five years is a tall order, especially considering the unprecedented fluctuations the past year. One main factor that experts say will impact rates in the long term is the low level of housing inventory. There we go again, the low inventory. When rates come down, we're going to be in store for another hot housing market where there may be more buyers than sellers jacking up prices because we haven't solved the problem of there not being enough homes. Yes. I've said this as well. That's my fear. If the rates come back down, because we saw it in November when the rates came back down from 7%, we saw bidding wars again. We did. And I'm like, oh my God, it's insanity. We're going back to what we had last year and in 2021. Oh no. But here's the thing. If the rates are only back down into the fives, Okay. People aren't going to be able to bid that much higher over asking price. I just can't see that happening because the reason people were able to bid these crazy prices through the pandemic up until the earlier part of, of 2022 is because money was cheap. They had rates in, in the 3% range. So it was no problem. They were borrowing, uh, they're taking out a huge loan because they were able to afford that because the rate was so low. But now we're almost 2% higher than that. That's not going to be the case. I, you will st see people going over asking price, but I don't think you're going to see by like 10, 20, up to $100,000. I mean, some markets, like here in New Jersey, some markets are still pretty hot. They're still getting like way over asking price, even at the interest rates we're at right now, like in the 6% range. Believe it or not, it's still happening. But for the most part, in the rest of the country, you know, the prices are coming back down. So when those rates drop back down, I don't think the prices are going to go that much higher because the rates are still higher than what they were a year ago. What do you people think about this? So or do you agree with me? What are your thoughts? Because I love the conversation I'm, I've been having here with all of you guys with your comments. So please comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious. I would love to chat more about it. If you're in the market this year to buy a house and you're concerned about the interest rates, here are some things that you need to consider. Always keep your eye on the interest rates. So watch the news, watch the markets, watch it like a hawk. Okay, you got to keep a close eye on it. If you see that it's trending down, you see if inflation is trending down, then okay, maybe it's a good time to jump in. Another thing you need to be keeping an eye on is your credit. Your credit score will impact your interest rate. So if you have a credit score that's not so stellar, clean it up, improve that score because the better the score, the better the rate you will have. So if you need help with that, with cleaning up your credit, you can talk to your mortgage lender. They can give you tips and help you come up with a plan to help get rid of your any debt that you have and improve that credit score. The last thing you want to do is to always shop around for your rates and you want to compare them. And there's feels like there's like a million lenders out there. You want to shop out at maybe three to five different lenders, look at their rates, and also be aware of any additional fees that those lenders are charging. Because I mean, if they're charging a lower rate, but then there's additional fees on top of that, that's how they're kind of making up for the lost money. I wouldn't say lost money, but they're making up their money that they're not getting on that interest rate. So just keep that in mind too. So if you're in the market this year, you're going to be buying your first home in 2023, or if it's your second home or whatever, 
You want some more tips? I have a great playlist right here. I highly recommend you check that out. Thank you so much for watching me today and getting your dose of real estate reality. My name is Jackie Baker, and I will see you next time.